All right, hello. Welcome to uh, the first ever round recording from Woodhouse Disc Golf. We got Jackson Sullivan on the tee on hole one at Rotorua, lining up a straight hyzer. Um, this hole was actually one of the definitely uh, gettable birdies for all players, um, but that is an absolute beast of a shot. It really just put the rest rest of us to shame, really, with that. Um, then we have uh, young Blair here, definitely a competitor that's been around the, the block and pretty much won everything there is to win. Absolutely beautiful shot that just lands exactly where it's always going to land. He doesn't really miss anything. You might hear some little comments in the background, I've kind of left the ambience noise in. Um, yeah. This guy here, Vinny, he's a... Uh, well, first time I've seen any of these guys play, so they're all new to me, but just absolutely ripping dish. You can see how they got onto the lead card and into this final nine, and it was pretty impressive just to just sit there and watch them. Brady Koosh, our uh, local Wellington hero. See what he does here. Oh, it's a bit early. It's still quite a, enough distance to get up and down from there, but just a little bit early on that release. Andy Davey. Absolute weapon in the tee box. Takes no time, just straight out rips it. Again going around the inside, which was a bit different. These clips are coming in thick and fast, but what an absolute rip. Logan absolutely parking it. We have Brady's uh, shot, which come up a bit short. Pretty simple highs around the corner for him, though. He's done that a million times before. Leo with a nice little chip up shot there. Andy going for a for a putt by the look of this. Or oh, just off to the right. Logan chipping up. Securing his birdie. Vinny with the big Anheuser in there. Jacko lining up his putt for Eagle. <laughs> Just like that, eh? Don't we all wish we could do that? Brady for his birdie. Taking his time. Making it count because it worked. He's in. Andy Davey for his birdie. Taking a bit more time on this one. Casual as. Got Logan ready to clean up his. We just got a couple tap outs from Blair and Vinny. Easy as that, whole one done and dusted. A pretty good start from the card, everyone off to a a good start. Rightio, hole two. Jackson Sullivan with the tee box still. The drive for a, a pretty tight gap. Um Yeah, definitely taking his time, making sure it lines up, it absolutely rips it down there. One day I'll get a camera that I can zoom it on, but for, for the moment you're having to deal with a GoPro, but just seeing these guys form in, um, this close up is, is pretty impressive. It's the uh, baskets tucks, tucked around to the left, just past the uh, big tree at the end of this tunnel you can see, but it's a fair whack around there. and. Safe to say it's one of the harder par threes on the course. Vinny. Something I need to get used to is um, actually checking my angles before I throw. You know, you see a lot of the top guys doing it and it um, seems to pay off for them. Beautiful follow through. He's right up there. 
Brady. Can't miss his dis. Or his socks. Looks like that's just a little bit low for the full distance, but he'll be up up there to get up for a par. Andy Davy, we're expecting this one to get ripped down the middle. Well, it looks a bit early. He's not overly happy with it. Be interesting to see where that ends up. Logan. Wasting no time. Again, looks like it's gone a bit early into the left. Oh, that's straight in there. We are actually making an unusual mistake and in hitting the tree and in coming into the green. Logan going for a forehand over the top. Oh, that's come out a bit left. That's not ideal. He's got another tough shot to get into the green. Brady with a forehand around the forehand analyzer, really. Oh, he makes that look easy, doesn't he? That's right up there. Round of applause for good reason on that shot, I think. Andy can obviously see a gap that we can't. And yes, he does. He's straight through. Lear on his uh, unfortunate earlier shot. Beautiful little Anheuser forehand. That's probably the first and only time I've seen that guy forehand. Should pull it out more doing stuff like that. I'm not sure who was in the bush there, but got it up there anyway. Logan looking at tapping out a tapping out his putt. Yeah, he's in there. That's a bogey, but it's a good bogey save nonetheless. That was quite a long putt. Now we've got Vinny looking to uh, secure his par. Oh, that was actually for Birdie, wasn't it? He had an absolutely amazing drive, so looks like this next one's for par. Brady's in. He's in for par on that one. Jacko's in for, for par. Blair taps out his unfortunate bogey. And Andy with a beautiful, beautiful shot through those trees is in for par too. And as I said, yeah, Vinny tapping him for bogey, unfortunately. Hole three, signature hole at Rotorua, huge redwoods. Definitely easy to hit for us, uh, less advanced players. And then you see Jackson there just firing it off a little bit early. Should be able to get up from there, though. You can get a, a nice hyzer shot out of there. Vinny looking for a straight shot straight through the middle by the looks of this. Taking his time. Oh, again, coming out a little bit left, but it's got the flex. Yeah, the guy's doing the commentating for me. Brady stepping up. Not quite sure what disc he wants to throw yet. There was a little bit of a, a headwind coming through this tunnel. And it definitely... Um, Definitely increased as you got out of it. He's, it looks like he's shaping up to put a bit of hyzer on this shot. Flips up nicely, straight out the end. Looks really good. And the same, just guys were struggling for decisions I guess with the little it's first time really feeling the wind on this uh, final nine oh that's 
come out a bit early and it looks like it's hyzering around to the left. Just didn't quite get the flip over he was looking for. But there is quite a quite an open gap out to the right oh, out to the left, sorry. Lee joins. Fortunate bogey on the hole before. Bounces straight back for an awesome shot out the tunnel. Last up we got Logan. This guy's got an awesome throw on him. Super fast arm speed just absolutely whips it out. Not quite getting the disangle right on that one. But they're away. Not used to going first as this man but Got himself in a bit of a tough spot here. Not, didn't quite kick back out onto the fairway, but let's see what he does with this one. Taking his time to settle in, get his feet in the right place. Make sure he's not going to hit anything on his swing through. Playing havoc, we've seen where they went, but it's up there. Brady with a nice straight look and running the putt with a forehand. You can hear now in the camera there was quite a bit of wind out here. So, wasn't super easy conditions, but it wasn't over the top either. Vinny with a look at the basket as well. Is he going to run it? Yeah, it looks. Uh, it's a half run. The soft, soft layup, but you can, you can definitely make those. Jackson here. One of the weirdest shots I've ever seen, but it works perfectly. Andy wasn't as far left as before. Just a nice layup. Great smart play. Leo with the layup as well. So we're going to be tapping out a lot of pars in this hole. Last but not least, Logan laying it up around the corner. Never complain with a par. Jackson with the unfortunate bogey on that one. And everyone else here, they'll just be tapping out for par. Before we move on to hole four. Andy doing a great job of blocking the camera there. Right, hole four, 110 metres, par three. Another one of the uh, signature holes at, at Rotorua. This is definitely right up there with one of the hardest par threes. You've got a tight, low ceiling tunnel to a late hyzer finish into a grove that seems to go forever before you get to the basket. So. See a birdie here would be something special. It's definitely a, a hole where the bogeys come out. Brady definitely doesn't uh, ever miss his routine. And when you shoot like that after it, why would you? Kicked off something, but sounds like it was in his favour. Andy Davey. Definitely one of the ones to watch at this tournament and future tournaments this year, that's for sure. So far, he's sitting at one under for this back nine. Oh, heck. We are making his way to the tee. This man definitely does not muck around. It's, you don't want to put the camera on pause when he steps up. Straight down the middle. One of the best shots of the card. Logan looking to get off the back of the bus. The 
it, so that might go a little bit long. Jackson taking the only uh, bogey on the f on the last hole, so see if he can make a bounce back here. Yeah, this is just not quite reacting the way he, the way he was expecting it to. Nice little lap yeah, round the corner there. Still got a a long way to the basket from there. Andy looking like he's um, doing an Anheuser putt from from a mile out, just getting distracted there for a good reset. Definitely needs his full focus for the shot. Looks like that's hyzing out a little too early and he's going to be pinched behind a tree up there. Vinny laying this up perfectly, almost putting it in. Not sure if he was running that, but it looked awesome. Vinny was actually in that bush, but I missed it in the camera, so he's uh, laying up for bogey there. Jackson just pushing up a bit further into this grove. We know he can make these, Let's see what he can do. Oh, just, just hyzing out a bit early. Blair with the run. You've got a bit of a backstop, so not too much risk. Standing behind the two big RPM boys here. Looking for the highlight putt from Brady. Online. Oh, so close. An inch off going in. Andy from his unfortunate uh, upshot there, just sticking him behind this bush. Can he do something special? Oh, unfortunate kick there. Looks like he's uh, going for a bogey on this one if he can make the putt. Our man from Brodus there. If you want to watch the uh, best footage of this round, you definitely want to go look at his channel. He's uh, got all the gear and more of an idea than this young fella. Jackson. Tapping away his par. Blair looking at getting his par in the bucket too. Easy as that. Vinny. Trying to seal the bogey and, and stop any more bleeding, which he does. Andy going for the... Uh, oh, that was Logan, sorry. That wasn't Benny. There he goes, Benny, for his bogey. Alright. Brady with the tee box on hole five. Oh, that's a super hyzer. That's going extremely the wrong way. He hates it. There's only one sort of OB on this course, and that's the road, and unfortunately, that's gone straight onto it. I don't know what happened there, whether it was just a sweaty hands or something, but as he just heard him say there, he's in the middle of the road, which is an unfortunate break for Brady. He's really, really struggling on this one. Blair again, hardest man to catch on film. Doesn't muck around at all, straight into it. Jacko looks like he's ready to go. Just trying to decide what's just to play in this headwind. Lining up his Qatari. Flipping up and actually turning it over into the low, uh, low hanging tree on the right. Not overly happy with that one by the looks. Here we have Vinny. Absolute rip. Straight down the middle. 
Looks looks like he's happy with that. Not too much emotion from this man early on. Andy no shy shy of uh, getting distance. He's definitely right up there. He definitely loaded up on that one. Looks like he's coming back for a vengeance after uh, taking a bogey on the last hole. Logan. Another one rip. Looks like it's going a little left. There is a Mando on the left there, so if he goes too far, it might be hard to get around. Jackson for his up shot. It'd be tough to get up and down for Birdie. Let's see what he can do here. Makes the gap over the crest. Is it going long? Or oh, it'll be close. That might be OB. Benny looking for a house rat. As you can see, the Mando sign up there on the left hand tree. Unfortunately, I missed Brady's upshot on this, and he threw an absolute ripper of an upshot to get himself out of the trouble after going OB Road. Logan with the forehand did it break through. There's clapping. We're trying to get up and down for birdie. Andy's drive absolutely smashed it. Gives himself a perfect look at the basket. Oh, he's put a bit of heat on it. Will it skip? Oh, lucky break. He's happy with that. He hit it the stump. Brady after his amazing up shot to get up there. Logan looking to chip around the corner. Looks like, oh, a big flare. Should still have a putt from there. Flare probably laying this up. Yeah, looks like he's gone a little long though. He'll have a comebacker. Brady lining up his putt. Really needs to stick this in. After going OB, you don't want to be making it any worse. Oh, unfortunate chain out. Didn't want to keep the camera on him too long there. He definitely wasn't happy with that putt. Jackson managing to stay, stay in bounds. Nails his putt. Good to see Brady still cheering them on, even though he's having having a tough time with this hole. Andy Davy seals his birdie. The only birdie on hole five. Everyone else tapping off a tapping out a par, apart from unfortunately Brady with the six. So really going to hurt his score for this round. Hole six. Andy's got the T. Big high as a shot. Looking awesome. Sorry for the GoPro and uh, not being able to see too much. You get the drives, you get the upshots, you get the putts. What more can you want? Jackson just unfortunately having someone on his right hand side uh, distracting him a bit there. So gentle but the disc comes out so fast. As you see him, not expecting this disc to do what it did so I think he knows where to find a new one. He might be able to get one or two. Vinny here. 
absolutely ripping in it on this 150 meter par 4. Logan, is he going to go for the same approach? No, nah, low, hard, and fast, straight up the middle. It's a uh, bootleg left hole, this one, so you've got two options of trying to get far far up the middle, so you'll give yourself a nice straight shot at the tee, or trying to hyzer it over the top. Brady going for the hyzer over the top route, trying to bite off as much distance on the hole and reduce your upshot. They're off. Logan unfortunately hitting the tree on his drive. Pinching him a little bit. Beautiful shot though. It's right up there. Blair, same spot unfortunately. Oh, it's close. I think it might have just clipped a tree up there. Jackson with his uh, not quite going where he normally likes to place it, but see what he can do from here. You get a uh, straight skip, not not exactly what I think he'd be after. But he was hoping for it to flare around the corner. Andy pushing along into the uh, small forest here. Looks like he's got a nice get for a forehand though. One of the more unique backswings you'll ever see on a forehand player, but that is absolutely right next to the basket. As you can see, all of these guys with a good, good versatility being able to use their forehand and backhand, but Brady absolutely parking it. Definitely a man for the cameras. Waving away. love to do a marked up round with Brady one day that would be an awesome thing to do Jackson or Birdie looks like he's going for it oh didn't quite get the height or the line Andy to tap out for two birdies in a row Yeah, I wouldn't expect him to miss that. Beautiful putt. Looks like we're all just getting a tap out now. Logan, beautiful birdie. Jackson tapping out his par. Vincent coming in for the easiest birdie putt of the round. Brady tapping in for for a beautiful birdie as well and then Blair joins just tapping out his bar right hole 7 76 meters super guarded basket Andy throwing an amazing forehand skip shot around the corner you can either go for a backhand flat shot through the woods try your luck or the skip skip forehand shots definitely the safer route if you've got it Pony here trying to get through the woods. Throws a little bit high. And that's definitely caught in the trees. Did it break through is the question. Next up we got Logan. Cracking out his forehand to see what he can do with this. Look, he's turned it over. He's got the skip though. It's right up there, he should have a putt. Brady's been throwing amazing forehands all round, so. One more to go. Looks a little low. Still gets around there, though. Definitely got a longer look for a birdie than he wants. Blair. Was hoping to see another forehand, but. I thought we got lucky enough earlier on in the round to see that he's definitely backhanded. Did he get the height right? 
Hard to see. It's rolling around up there. Jackson here lining up for his drive. Absolutely rips it. He did get stop started a couple of times on this hole and to see him perform that shot after a bit of distraction was um, pretty cool to see how the guy can reset so fast. See Vinny's shot just caught up in the early trees. That's the gaps you're trying to hit through when you try to throw your straight back end. Blair laying up for, for par. Brady with his longer, longer look for birdie. He's been running these all weekend with his forehand flick and he's quite accurate, so... Oh, just hitting the branch, but that looked like it was on. Logan. The birdie. Oh, just low. Not happy with that one. Andy, for the turkey. Probably a, an eight, nine metre putt. Maybe 10. Oh my god. The luck this boy has on his shoulders this weekend is huge. Given the basket the respect it deserves. After swallowing that disc and nearly bouncing out. Brady. Tapping away his par. Same with Vinny. Jackson in for his birdie. Logan tapping away from par. Blair joining him. Hole 8, the monster forehand hole if you've got it, 115 metres, par 3. Not the narrowest of tunnels, but definitely want to throw something over stable with a big flare. The baskets are around to your right, 20 metres after the end of the tunnel. Super low forehand, big skip, that has to be parked. Good to see the gallery out here, loving Lemon watching some disc golf. Jackson trying to repeat the same. Uh, Looks like it's going. Does he get the same skip? It's up there. Go have a look for birdie. Trying to get some of the moisture out of his hand, I'm guessing. First back came we've seen. Looking for a turnover shot. Definitely a lot more effort required on this one. Got it down there. It looks like it might have just flipped over a little too early. Might be pinched in the trees. Logan there. Got the forehand option as well, so oh, it's a little high. Looks like it's hyzing out early. He's going to be in the trees. Not overly happy with that. Brady's definitely got a forehand, but looks like he could be opting for the backhand here. Maybe he just doesn't quite have the distance. I'm not sure. Absolutely ripped on that. Looks like it might be a little bit left. Yeah, might be swallowed up by the trees. Might be finding it hard to get up for par on that one. Perfect shot straight down the middle. Bit of a skip. Should be alright though to get up and down for par. As you can see now, a very way tighter tunnel lots of trees to get around definitely got to pick your line gets himself back out in the open playing the skip brady bringing out the four end up shot he's been good with us all weekend he's asking for it to go right almost at the basket now clear with a, a layup this is the longest I've seen him spend on a shot so far. 
Oh, I just hits the right hand tree that was looking good too. Then he laying up. Almost made it out of the end of the tunnel. Logan, and where is Skip shot landed? Running for the chains. Oh, again, just hitting the cage. Sooner or later, he's going to start coming in, but he's only got one hole to make it happen. Brady for par. Oh, that was in, and then it wasn't. Jacko for birdie. Again, this basket just not having a bar of it. Just does it what Eddie does at the moment. Blair finally making it stick. He's in for par. Finney getting his par in. Unfortunately, Brady and Logan tapping in for bogey. Andy was uh, nowhere to be seen at this point. He's definitely had to wait a while for um, and competitors to finish the hole. There he comes now, grabs his putter. What an absolute beast of a forehand, making it to the back side of the basket, almost touching the pole. Incredible shot, and he's definitely <laughs> stoked with that one, as we all are. Here we are, final hole. 87 metres, par three. Andy on an absolute tear at the moment with four birdies. Great to see the camaraderie between all the players. Giving each other a fist bump for the final hole of Rotorua. Andy looking to line up the tunnel gap. Everyone going down the left side. Into what I thought was a shank, but an absolute beast of a shot again. Heisering around the right hand side of the tunnel. First time I've seen that all weekend and it looks like it's worked out perfectly. Jacko. Engine's angle up a little bit. Does it rip? It's a little left. But he's made it through. Everyone's come to play on the last hole. And he definitely definitely going to be one to watch out for throughout the season. This guy's got some beast of his shots. Great technique. See what he can do on the final hole. On a hyzer, but he's made it through. Oh, late kick. Unfortunate. Still got a smile on his face, though. Good to see. Straight up, no mucking around. Looks like it's just fading around left. It's just missed the tree, but there is a another bush he could be playing with up further up on the hole. Logan. Not sure if he was going for the inside or outside gap there, but just hyzering it straight into one of the early trees, which is a bit unfortunate. Brady looking for a strong comeback on the last hole. Couple of unfortunate bogeys. For him in this, this final nine. So smooth. Makes it at the end of the tunnel, but it's going to be a tough putt. Logan, still got the tunnel to deal with. No mistake this time. Plenty of room, lots of hyzer. He'll get around for par, looking at that. Brady, not quite making it out the end of the tunnel like we thought, getting caught up in a, a shrub down low. 
Been rocking the forehand all afternoon and absolutely nailing it. We have Vinny just faded left a little bit too early, so big, big highs around the corner. Parking it up, he'll be in for par. Blair with this unfortunate tree I was talking about. Casual layup, no need to, to risk running a putt there. Brady. Forehand going a little deep, found himself in the bush. Cut through the tree for par, showing us how it's done, finishing his round off strong. Here we have Andy in the same, same bush, just a little bit more to the right. Trying to find some decent footing in there. This is to go five birdies. Now lining himself up for five birdies in a row. Straight in, not a doubt. He's loving it. What an epic finish to get himself up to third at Rotorua. Vinny, unfortunately, losing third equal on uh, Andy making that putt. Nice putt there from Logan. Finishing off with a plus one on the uh, final nine, which he wouldn't be overly happy about, but played buddy good all weekend, so no, nothing to really complain about. Jackson looking for... The final booty chance of the uh, final nine. And he nails it. What a beast. Three under for the final round. 17 under total. Absolutely smashing it. And winning the Rotor Road title. Vinny cleaning up his par. Holding on to fourth place. Blair tapping out his par. Leaving him with an even round and um, minus eight at the tonal. Congratulations all round, boys. Right, well, thank you for uh, listening to my horrible voice while I commentate my first ever round of disc golf. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Look out for more content. We'll see you around.